Hey guys, it's me, Kimberly Amara, um, coming on here to just kind of talk to you guys again. Um, so I'm glad you guys are happy to see me back because I'm glad to be back. Um, it's kind of late and I'm really meant to do this this morning, but like the day just kind of got away from me. So anyways, um, I kind of just wanted to check in on everybody because yesterday for a lot of people, including myself, was hard as hell. Um, of course, um, a lot of you know that um, actor Chadwick Boseman passed away um, from a four-year battle with colon cancer. And um, I don't even know like what to say. I cried from the moment that I found out and then all day yesterday. And... I wrote an article about it because that was kind of like my therapy. Um, I just don't know. I mean, like it really kind of just, for me, it hit hard because it was kind of like, you knew that like we lost like a good spirit, like a good soul, like he was gone. And I think like, even when you think about, because a lot of people keep talking about like Kobe and stuff and that was shocking. And it was very, um, difficult i mean nobody could have prepared or imagined but i feel like when kobe passed away um we hadn't been beaten the hell down um there's been so much that's happened since january i mean unfortunately it feels like kobe passed away like years ago but it was just january but we've been through so much it's just like jesus so anyway um i just want to kind of check on you guys make sure you're doing okay um Make sure that you're loving on yourself, loving on your loved ones a little bit harder um, because in, you can be gone just like that. And I mean, obviously he had been dealing with this. And so I'm pretty sure, you know, um, he and his family and close friends, they were able to kind of um, process, you know, what that would look like. I mean, I know that that's a difficult thing because um, when I know my mom was sick, um, she was sick for a while, but I don't think you can ever really just prepare for a death. Um, Cause you know, some people say, oh, like if someone dies suddenly, I didn't have a chance to say goodbye. And I, I mean, that's obviously difficult, but even if somebody is sick and they're dealing with some type of chronic illness or disease, um, you know, it people process things differently. People process death differently. Um, the end of life phase looks different for everybody. And so I just don't know that um, you can really just ever be prepared for death. Um, so anyways, um, I don't know. How are you guys doing? Is anyone else feeling like the weight of just where we're at? Um, I feel like specifically as a black person in America right now, we are getting our asses handed to us. I mean, that's just my honest thoughts about all of this. Um, I don't even know. I mean, I'm still trying to kind of regroup and recover. Um, I finally like got up really and tried to pretend like I was gonna, you know, at least I took a shower. Mm. So I'm happy about that. Um, Cause yesterday was rough. I mean, I really just could not understand a lot. Um, so anyways, I just wanted to say that, you know, I was thinking about you guys. I know a lot of people are having a hard time with this. A lot of people are trying to figure out, you know, whether or not they should tell their kids, whether or not, quote unquote, Black Panther died. And I mean, the things that I've been seeing, I agree with as far as in the online space, which is, you know, Black Panther will live on. That it, it is a character. Um, Chadwick Boseman, um, he just did an excellent job of um, playing that character, but you know what the black panther symbolizes and means not only to children especially children of color but just the black community i mean that will surpass you know his life which is a legacy that he left so that's a blessing um but just does anyone else fill in just the weight of the gravity of just all of the tension from, you know, the racial tension to the political divide to just, you know, we've got this election coming up. I mean, just the world, it just seems to be on fire. I mean, what we had, everything going on in Wisconsin, we have had, what is it, the uh, Hurricane Laura, and then of course, Chadwick Boseman dies, and it just seems like it's one shit show after the next and after the next and 
I just don't know what to say. So, in any who ate, um, I just want to say I love you guys. I'm so glad to be back on this platform because I never wanted to abandon it. And so, I'm just glad to be back. So, um, just drop your comments. Let me know what you think. And I know I had some comments from my last post. So, I'm going to actually head out and do that now. And also, I'll link my... Um, I'll link my blog post that I did about Chad with Bozeman and just how, you know, uh, a king has fallen. That's the uh, title of the article. So I hope that in your spare time, you get a chance to go over to my blog and read it. And until next time, I'll see you guys. Okay.